Good morning, everyone. This week we're talking about credit cards. This is part one. And next week is going to be part two. So the dangers of credit cards. So the use of credit cards has drastically increased over the years. More and more people are using credit cards instead of cash. The average credit card holder in the U.S. has four credit cards. Credit cards are often used because they are convenient, safer to carry than cash, and allow people to buy things they can't afford. However, though credit cards may have some benefits, they can be extremely dangerous. These pieces of plastic can place your financial health into serious jeopardy. Credit card problems usually start off slowly with one credit card and a few innocent purchases. At first, it doesn't seem like a problem nor a threat. Instead, it is just like a small snowball slowly rolling down a hill. But shortly after you open one card, you get multiple offers to open other credit cards. You can't resist. The more credit cards, the more cards and more purchases you make because it's so easy and exciting. Yet, before you know it, it's a small snowball that grows into a massive snowball and it's heading right for you. At this point, it is at all, at this, the point you come to realizations that you buried deep in credit card debt. You might think that this could never happen to you, but it can easily, and it does happen to millions of Americans each year. It's now estimated that the average household owes over $16,000 in credit card debt. Many people are struggling to make monthly minimal payments and have realized that a giant snowball of credit card debt is heading right for them. So what is the average number of credit cards held by cardholders? Why are credit cards being used more often than in the past? What can credit cards do for your financial health? Shortly after you open a credit card, what happens? Before you know it, what could easily happen with credit cards? And how much does the average household have in credit card debt?